Now it's finally, finally time to take a look at a question I think that many of you guys are asking yourself right now. And that is, can we actually trade inside TradingView or do we need another platform to place our trades? And the answer here is actually that yes, you can trade inside TradingView. But there is a sort of caveat here, and that is that only certain platforms um, you can use to connect to TradingView. And to see which platforms you can use, you can go down here where it says open trading panel. And here you can see that we have a few brokers here that you can connect to TradingView and actually trade inside TradingView. And if you wanna dive even deeper, you can click here, explore brokers. And here you have some stats. You can, for example, see that we have more than 2.7 million traders trading through TradingView right now. And we have more than 250 million um, executed live orders. And if you wanna trade stocks, you can choose here, uh, look uh, for a platform that fits you. This is something that takes time uh, to you know, find the perfect platform. And we don't really have time in this course to dive deep into this. But, so I recommend you guys that if you want to trade inside TradingView, spend some time and search for the perfect broker to connect to TradingView and the perfect broker to you. Uh, but now let's actually cross out this tab because now, I wanna talk about something called paper trading. Uh, and first of all, what is paper trading? Well, paper trading is basically when you use fake money to simulate uh, real trades. And here, luckily, TradingView has an amazing paper trading tool. And to access this tool, once again, let's go back to the chart. To access this tool, you go to the trading panel and as you can see right here between the brokers, we have paper trading. And as you can see here on the gray text below, it's a broker simulator by TradingView. So if you are a beginner to trading, this is a great way to practice placing trades without the risk of actually trading. So now let's take a look at step-by-step step how you can get started with, with paper trading. And to set, set it up is yet very, very simple. You simply just click on this button right here and then you press connect. And just like that, your account is created. And as you can see here on the account, we have a few different numbers. For example, right now you have $100,000. So you are rich here, but unfortunately this is just fake money. Uh, but before we start here, there are a few settings I want you guys to take a look at and also change to make it more simple um, and better. Uh, so you go here to where it says account settings right here. And you can see that I have changed everything to 1-1. One, one. You, you see uh, the, under leverage, it says 1-1 one, one for stocks, futures, crypto, forex, and everything. And if this is not true for your account right now, you can simply press reset account right here and change all of these numbers to 1-1, one, 1-1, one, 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 and so on and so on. And here, if you want to, this doesn't matter too much, but you can also change the balance of your uh, paper trading accounts. So let's say that you wanna start with $1 million, then you simply uh, press, uh, you simply type in 1 million here, and then you can choose dollar. Or if you, you are uh, using another currency, you can actually choose another currency as well. So feel free to choose another currency if you want to. I'm gonna choose uh, US dollar and 1 million. And the reason I'm having one one uh, for all of these is that it will make it easier for beginners uh, to, to sort of understand. And I will get to that soon. Uh, but now let's actually click on reset right here. And just like that, you will see that we will have an account balance of 1 million US dollar. Uh, and of course, this is fake money. Um, but now, when you have an open account, you can see that we have some tabs here. It says positions, orders, history, and everything like that. And of course, because we haven't placed a trade yet, all of these tabs will be empty. So now, the next step we of course need to do here is that we need to place a trade. So let's now take a look at how to place our first trade. And to do this, to take down this tab, we wanna go up here to where it says paper trading and we wanna close the trading panel, just like this. And now, to buy or sell something, 
One way you can do this is that you can simply go up here to the upper left corner where it says buy market or sell market, or you can right click on the chart here uh, and you can press trade right here. Uh, you can go here and then you press create new order. And just like that, our trading panel will appear. And now, as you can see, it says BTC USD, that is Bitcoin measured in USD, and it says paper trading. And we have the buy button selected right now, and we also have the sell button right here. Uh, but let's click buy here and take a look at how we can buy Bitcoin. And you can see that we have three different methods here to buy. We have market, we have limit, and we have stop. And for this video, I'm gonna show you guys the market order. This is the most simple and most basic order type. But if you guys want to learn about the limit and stop order as well, I actually have a separate video here on the channel where I talk about that and I will make sure to link that video somewhere up in the corner uh, so you can watch that video uh, when you are done with this course. But the most important order to understand here is the market order. So let's just go over this order type uh, step by step. And first of all, you can see units here. That means that we wanna buy one Bitcoin. And then you see that we have a percent risk here. What I want you to do, this is more simple, is that we click right here, and then we go to the USD. Because now you can see here that we wanna buy one Bitcoin. So we change to one Bitcoin and then we can choose the price. And what you will notice here is that this price is actually the exact same price that Bitcoin is trading at right now. And that is because a buy market order basically means that we wanna buy Bitcoin at the current price, while a sell market order means that we wanna sell Bitcoin at the current price. But now let's take a look at how to place a buy market order. So we wanna buy, one Bitcoin, we wanna buy it at the current market price. So we have selected both things correctly. But now you also see that we have a take profit and a stop loss, and we wanna use both. The take profit level is the level where we, where we will automatically sell our Bitcoin. And here you can see that we can choose between ticks, uh, we can choose the price, USD and so on and so on. And here, I think the easiest way is to use the price here. So let's say that we wanna take our profit at $100,000, right? Remember that the price is currently at $93. So this would mean that if the price goes up here to 100,000, we would automatically sell our Bitcoin. And remember here that this is not based on any analysis. Right now, I'm just showing you how this works. The same thing is true, but the opposite for the stop loss level. The stop loss is the level where if the price goes down to that level, we will automatically sell the Bitcoin we bought. So let's say that we wanna automatically sell if Bitcoin reaches 90,000. Then we simply type in 90,000 on the price. So now we have our profit at 100,000. We have our uh, stop loss at 90,000. So now we are ready to place this order and buy Bitcoin. And just like that, now we can actually zoom in a bit here. You can see that our order is complete. We just bought Bitcoin right here. Uh, if the price drops below this orange level at 90,000, we will automatically sell. And if the price pushes above the 100,000 uh, level, we will automatically lock in profit. We will gain 6,700 fake US dollar if we win, and we will lose 3,000, around 3,300 fake US dollar if we lose. And now guys, when we have placed our first order, now we can of course see the orders if we press on paper trading down here. So now you can see that we have a current position. So we are long, meaning that we are betting that Bitcoin will go up in price. Right here, you can see our average, pri uh, average price and you can see our profit and stop loss and so on and so on. 
You can also, if you go to the orders, see that we have some active orders. And this is just, you can see that we have the take profit uh, at 100,000 and we have the stop loss at 90,000. Everything is in order right here. And now if we go back to the chart, you can see that we have actually lost $100 around there. So let's say that we actually want to sell our Bitcoin now, then we simply press sell right here. Uh, we have 1.003 Bitcoin, so we press sell just like that. And now we sold our position. Once again, we can go back to our trading panel here. And now you can see that something happened to our balance. Remember, we started with $1 million. And you can see right here that we have a total of minus uh, 130 US dollar. So now you can see here that all the orders we can see here, we have no orders right now. Uh, but here you can see that we had our buy and sell order. So now you have successfully bought and sold Bitcoin. And in, you know, if this was real money, you would have lost $130. But luckily, this was just fake money and we just ran randomly bought and sold. Uh, so that's all good. But I really hope that this short tutorial uh, gave you a good instruction into paper trading. But all right then, so now we're ready to actually move on to something else. So I want to quickly just uh, close the trading panel right here. Uh, or what I actually want to do is that I want to open up the paper, paper trading and I want to show you guys how to log out of paper trading. And to do this, you simply press the account settings right here, or no, you, you press the uh, this one right here. You can see the, the little arrow where it says paper trading, and then you press log out paper trading. And just like that, we are no longer in the paper trading uh, system here. So this video was actually just a very short clip from our full trading view tutorial for 2025. If you want to dive deeper and watch the full course for free here on YouTube, simply click or tap on the screen right here. I hope I will see you all over there very, very soon.